When a system reaches equilibrium, the concentrations of all reactants and products are constant. The equilibrium constant gives us a numerical description of the position of equilibrium for any reversible reaction. In this lab, we will be determining the equilibrium constant for the following reaction. Iron 3 ion and thiocyanate combine to form a special type of complex ion, having the formula FeSCN2+. The super important characteristic of this complex ion is that it is red in color. We will be using this characteristic color later on to determine the concentration of this ion. Before we start, let's write the equilibrium constant expression for this reaction. So we have the aqueous solution of the FeSCN2 plus as our numerator. So we'll put the concentration of that complex ion as our numerator. The concentration of the iron 3 ion will be multiplied by the concentration of the thiocyanate ion in our denominator. The value of the equilibrium constant can be determined by mixing known concentrations of iron 3 ions and thiocyanate ions and then measuring the concentration of the FeSCN2 plus ions at equilibrium. So we don't start with any FeSCN2 plus ions. Now keep in mind that we're losing iron and thiocyanate ions and we're gaining this FeSCN2 plus complex. We are going to need a way to measure the amount of FeSCN2 plus ion in solution at equilibrium. That will allow us to calculate the amount of iron 3 and thiocyanate ions at equilibrium, which will allow us to plug all of these values into this equation and give us our equilibrium constant. Now this is where the red color comes in. The concentration of the FeSCN2 plus complex at equilibrium will be proportional to the intensity of the red color. So how can we measure color intensity? Using a spectrophotometer. Using a spectrophotometer to measure color intensity or light absorption requires us to have to make a standard or a reference. We are going to utilize Le Chatelier's principle for this. We are going to call this part A of the experiment. In part A, we are going to use reference solutions to create a standard so we know which colors or which levels of absorption correspond with which concentrations. We will start by adding a lot of the iron 3 ion with just a little bit of the thiocyanate ion. And according to Le Chatelier's principle, the huge amounts of the iron ions should easily be able to convert all of the thiocyanate ions into the FeSCN2 plus complex ions. So the final concentration of the FeSCN2 plus ions will be equal to the initial concentration of the thiocyanate ions. This will allow us to know the concentration of the FeSCN2 plus ions. Remember, the darker the red color, the more ions in the solution. So for part A, we will carry out this reaction with a few different ratios of Fe3 plus to thiocyanate. So we can generate a few different known concentrations of the FeSCN2 plus complex. We will then measure the absorption of these different known samples. Now remember that red liquids absorb blue light. So we will be setting our spectrophotometer to 470 nanometers, which is in the blue region of the visible spectrum. Once we get a nice little line of correlations, our reference work is done and we can begin testing unknowns. We can then use measured absorptions along with the equation of our best fit line to calculate the unknown concentrations. This brings us to part B of the experiment, determining the equilibrium constant. To do this, we will be mixing almost equal quantities of the iron 3 and thiocyanate ions and then measuring the absorbance of the reaction solution at equilibrium. Once we know the quantity of the FeSCN2 plus ions at equilibrium, we can fill out the rest of our rice table, plug the equilibrium values into our equilibrium constant expression, and then calculate our equilibrium constant. Now, because this is science, we can't just do one trial and call it good. We will be doing five total test trials, each with slightly different concentrations of iron and thiocyanate. 
Ideally, because this is a constant, our calculated KEQs should be almost the same. So let's start part A of this experiment. Reference solution one is going to have eight milliliters of our stronger iron three ion solution and two milliliters of our weaker thiocyanate ion solution. This ensures that all of the thiocyanate converts into FeSCN2+, which you can see is sort of a peachy color due to the fact that this is a pretty dilute solution. We are going to continue making reference solutions until we have five different known concentrations of FeSCN2+. This will allow us to find a nice correlation between the concentration and the absorbance of the solution. Now we will start creating our test solutions. These solutions will have somewhat similar concentrations of iron-3 and SCN ions when compared with our reference solutions. Because we aren't trying to use up all of one ingredient, we are trying to determine where the equilibrium lies. Now we will put all of our samples into cuvettes to prepare them for use in the spectrophotometer. Notice how I have a cuvette filled just with distilled water on the left? This is going to be my blank for calibrating the spectrophotometer. We are ready to start measuring absorbances. I will first use my cuvette filled with distilled water and set the absorbance to zero. Then I will measure the absorbances of each of my solutions. <laughs> 